What's up everybody? Welcome back to Peppy channel. Channel where you can cook Thai food very well. So, today is pretty chill day for me. You know why? Let's take a look. It's snowing! Yes! It's snowing outside right now. I don't know, I think we gonna close the restaurant today. Oh, we're just gonna keep it open, but you know, no nobody gonna come to work. But it's just me, only me working, and my mom. That's it. But oh well, else, you know, a couple of dollars is better than nothing. But yeah, maybe we might get some to go. Yeah, and that is Coco. This cocoa and this coconut. The name in Thai is uh, Mapao. Yeah, there's my cats. I got three cats. Three. The black one over there. Oh, the way down there. And they need the so far. But I'm not gonna give up teaching you how to cook. Today we can um, stay with the noodle. The noodle we're gonna teach is um Pat Bun Sen. Pat Bun Sen is um it's pretty common dishes too. A lot of people like it. I don't I, I do not know the history of Pat Bun Sen but um yeah, it's a lot of people like it, especially women. Well, let me take a look at ingredients. So what we're gonna need is I wouldn't say we use a lot of vegetable, by the way. We can use some um, napa, just a little bit of each. Celery, carrot, and the main thing is um, ginger, slight fresh ginger. Oh, it's found. And then the choice of meats, we can use some. Tofu today. Let's get a couple. And last but not least, eggs. And then we can use noodle. Yeah, noodle. I use this brand here. It's the pine tree brand. It's pretty good though. But they have the better one too, but you know. This is good also. And then the last two what we're gonna need is scallions and meat sprout. Well the reason I separate these two vegetables is because um scallion and bean sprout we put at the end because you don't want to cook these two together. It, they will get very soft and then when you eat it, it's going to feel like eh, eh. I don't know how to feel but it's it's just going to be I don't know oh and bok choy too bok choy bok choy and garlic and main sauce and white pepper a little bit tip a teaspoon of sugar all right, let me set up the camera up, so show you how to cook. Before you can cook, you need to soak the water. I mean, you need to soak the noodle with the cold water for like 15 minutes is the minimum. This is um, the noodle after you soak in the water for like 15 minutes. And then cut them into uh, the size that you want it, maybe like this. Maybe four or five inch. And then keep the rest in the bag. Make sure they, um, there's no air going in. Make sure it's um, airtight in there. And you can keep them for like mm, roughly like two, three weeks. Yeah. Yep. All right. So let's get cooking. All right. Let's start cooking. First, you're going to need oil. Wait until they get them nice and hot. 
Another thing is that about tofu, you have to take out the water too, okay? You don't want to cook water and oil together. The tofu you should get is a firm tofu. Don't get the soft one or extra soft. It will break easily. Make some garlic. And then your vegetable. Add some water. Because you need to cook this noodle a little bit more. Should add just a little bit, not too much. A little bit of sugar and white pepper. Next up is your main sauce, this much. It is too dry. Do not add oil. Just add a little bit more water. And then your sesame oil. Last thing is scallion and your bean sprout. Done. Bye, Pepe. There you go. You see? Can you see? Can you see? No, no, no. See, see. It's gonna fall. There you go. I wouldn't send by me. Pretty easy how to make it. So, just only simple ingredients, not too much. Till next time, everybody, with me, Pepe Kitchen. What is it? Five? Almost five inch already. Four. Oh! With this, six. No, oh, six is five. Oh, five. Five, yeah. Five inch, guys. It's still coming down. Ah! Look it back. If you like it, hit subscribe and hit the like button and share if you like it. Alright, till next time. Bye bye. There you go. I'll see you.